Welcome back to the channel. Hope you had a great day. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by. Want to do a uh, a quick video? Give you uh, five reasons on why I went with a uh, a Corvette when I was shopping for a a sports car. Uh, when I was doing uh, reviews and looking at you know the positives and negatives to uh, Corvettes, Mustangs, Camaros. Chargers, Challengers. That's kind of kind of the realm I was looking in, um, and, I, and I'll give you five reasons why I went with a uh, a Corvette. Um, as I've mentioned in past videos, um, I bought my Corvette about, geez, it's December now, so about eight months ago. I've had it I've had it since April, um, and it's been a blast to own. Started modifying it recently, um, as you saw. I put those LED light bulbs inside of it, and uh, one of my last videos, it was. It's made a great difference inside this car. I love it more. I just ordered some more uh, some more things to do to it. So I can't wait to, to show you what's next on that frontier. Uh, but let's get back to today's video. So the reason why when I was evaluating cars, why I found a Corvette to be, um, well, let's just say it straight up. It's always a V8. Um, Corvettes, you, you, you pull up to a Mustang at a stoplight or a Camaro or a Charger or Challenger, it, it could be a V6. It's probably 75% of the time it's a V6. Well, you roll up next to a Corvette, well, it, it's always a V8. Um, and, and I wanted a V8, so that was, uh, regardless of, you know, you can always get the Charger or the, the Mustang or the Camaro with the V8 option. Um, I, I wanted something that was, you know, unmistakably a, a V8. So, to me, having that, that V8, the, this makes a 400 port, horsepower, 400 pound, pound feet of torque. It's a manual. It's light car. It's real fun to drive. Uh, but yeah, it's it's always a V8. So that was a, a big, you know, a, a thing I was thinking about. Hey, I want something that's never going to be mistaken for a V6. Um, the second reason on why I thought a Corvette was a uh, a better buy than one of the other ones I've been speaking about. And I don't think they're bad cars. It's just uh, this is a better fit for me with where I'm at in my life right now. Um, the Corvette community. Uh, I, I really enjoy being uh, being part of that community. Driving down the road, you get the Corvette wave. Other Corvette owners and enthusiasts always talk to you. Um, it's 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 just a cool. Uh, it's a cool experience if you've never been part of it. I'm sure that owning a, uh, a Mustang would be a, you know a great experience, or a Camaro, or a, or even a Charger or Challenger as well. But uh, but for me, the the Corvette community, um, it's it's fun. It's you know it's like minded enthusiasts, and we all we all kind of sit around. Uh, at car shows, you can chit chat. It's nice to see what they have done to their cars, and uh, maybe gives you ideas for modifications, things like that. And everybody will talk to you about it most of the time. Um, it's it's uh, it's fun. It's enjoyable. It's it's great to be part of. So that's uh, one of the other reasons why I thought that Corvette was uh, a great uh, great buy. Um, the other another reason. Okay, so Corvette. It's a two seater. You might say, hey, that's a that's a stupid reason to. Uh, to buy a car, it's a two-seater instead of uh, having a car you put four seats in, like a, a Camaro or a Mustang or a Charger or Challenger. Well, I didn't want my sports car, my fast car, my fun car, my weekend car to have a back seat. I have two kids that are, uh, they're both in car seats still, and I didn't want to be out on a Saturday afternoon and that be the car that I'm in, and some knucklehead roll up on me and uh, and decide, hey, let's play a little bit. Um, so it's it's one of those things, you know. If you're if I'm in the Corvette, there's a there's a 99.9% .9 chance I'm by myself. Um, maybe there's a one percent chance that uh, my lady will be with me. But but yeah, it's uh I, I don't I, the two seats to me it made sense um, rather than having the ability to do something silly with uh with the kids in the back. No, I'm not thinking thinking my uh myself through at that point. Um, okay, fourth reason why I bought a uh, a Corvette over a um. A Challenger, a Mustang, a Charger, was the second-hand, third-hand ownership. Um, Corvettes are typically purchased by uh, by middle-aged or older gentlemen that would pay cash for the car. Um, they typically have the money to maintain the Corvette. They have other vehicles to drive as well, so it's not their daily. So they park it in their garage. They baby it. They don't beat on it too much. Um, I, I don't necessarily know if that's a hundred percent an accurate statement when you're looking into uh, the crowds of uh, of Mustangs or uh, Chargers or um, Hellcats or Camaros or any of that. I, I would be probably pretty pretty challenged to find a V8 um, mo non modified um, um, you know ch 
Charger or Mustang for that matter. Um, versus, you know, you can pick up a, a Corvette that's been loved, it's been maintained, it's uh, its owner really, really enjoyed it and took good care of it and, uh, and didn't really pound on it too hard most of the time. Drove it on Sundays and, and was part of that Corvette community that I like to meet up with and, uh, and have coffee with from time to time. Um, that was uh, another thing I thought about when I was shopping for those. Though. I was like, you know, that's uh, that makes sense to me is to uh, that secondhand ownership piece. Of it. It's a it's a pretty big deal. I know that this car has been maintained and it's been taken care of. Um, and so that was uh, a pretty big uh, thought to myself. The last reason why I went with a uh, well, one of the last reasons why the next reason. I went with a, uh, a Corvette instead of a, a Mustang or a Camaro or a Charger or Challenger was uh, I don't feel like this car is going to depreciate anymore. I pretty much feel like the mid-20s on a C6, I don't think they're going to go much lower than that. Um, it should hold its value pretty nicely. And uh, if I ever decide I want to get something different, I don't think I would, uh, I would necessarily lose money on it even if I put a little few more miles on it because it is... As I mentioned, you know, being a, a Corvette owner and that secondhand ownership piece of it, I have another car. I don't drive it all the time, um, but but I think it's going to hold its value significantly better than what your uh, your Mustang would, or your Charger would, or your Camaro would. Um, maybe maybe I'm wrong, but uh, just being that this is a, a manual still, and it's the V8 guaranteed, and it's rear wheel drive. Um, I, it's, it's three things you're probably not going to be able to get anymore in uh, in modern cars going forward. So it's uh, to me. Gonna be something I plan on uh, hanging on to for a while for that reason alone. Um, and I have I, I have one more final reason on why a, a C6 Corvette for me was was the right purchase over uh, a different sports car, and that's the the aesthetics, the attention. I think out of the the cars I've spoken about, the Mustang, the Camaro, the the Charger, and the uh, the Challenger, I think it's the the best looking out of all of them. Every time I take this thing out, it gets it gets a lot of attention. It doesn't matter where I go. Um, it could be a, a seven year old kid says, "Hey, I like your car." And it could be a sixty year old lady that says, "Hey, take care take care of that baby." It's a uh, it's a great being part of the, like I said the Corvette community and people they everyone loves a Corvette. It's uh it's America's sports car. It's it's unique. It's fun and it's uh I highly recommend picking one up. But that's uh that's my point of view on why I would recommend. Um, a C6 Corvette if you're in the market for a sports car, or a Corvette if you're in the market for a sports car. I really appreciate you watching. Currently, I'm having a little contest with uh, with my daughter. We're seeing who can get the most subscribers, so if you uh, would help me out that, greatly appreciate it by, uh, by hitting the like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching again. I hope you all have a great evening. Bye now.